Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Golia. I'm an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I am so excited to be here with model, actor, and rapper Keith Brandon. How are you, Keith? I'm so glad we finally connected. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I'm finally glad to be here with you, so thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Well, before we get started, I'm going to show everyone a quick clip about what you're about. I've done a lot of things that I'm not proud of, Nicole. And I promised someone that I love very much that I wouldn't go back. But for you, I'll make an exception. You said, when I look at you, what do I see? When you look at me, what do you see? Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Can you tell us a little, let's start with um, the music video. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, yes, with far as music, um, I'm just now getting back into the route of music and getting back into things. Um, you know, life took a turn and I just wasn't simply able to focus on it as much as I wanted to when I lived in Houston six years ago. And so now when I moved to LA, um, I have much time on my hands you know, to freelance and be able to do, you know, uh, work in the performing arts. So that music video was actually a um, visual design music project um, for the um, visual design. And so right now, currently, I'm in the studio recording some things and I can't wait for it to come out so people can hear it, you know? Oh, that's so exciting. Yes. That's so great. And you were telling me that you've been doing a lot of modeling. How did that all come about? Well, I actually, so a while back, one of my relatives, Rochelle, Rochelle, she's a, she's a cousin of mine. And honestly, um, I stay, you know, I don't have any bad blood in my family, but I just prefer to stay away. Um, <laughs> and she's one of those people that um, she's seen a uh, casting notice uh, on Megan James, um, shout out to Megan James, uh, on her um, model, she's looking for models. And her best friend, Melissa Marie, was looking for a search for models for a big spa, well-known spa. And um, she tagged me in it. And I was like, I'll submit to it. But they're not going to, you know, they're not going to pick me. It's a, a million guys out there that look way better. Well, they actually ended up contacting me to work for them. And what that did for me is it boosted my confidence. Um, and it told me, well, if I could do this, I could do that. And if I could do this, I could do that. So ever since then, I've literally been working full-time modeling every like almost every other day of the week so um it literally like i said it, it, it woke something up in me that inspired me like i had this in me you know what i'm saying uh it was like oh hey little cat you like cats <laughs> sometimes he has to say hi and he he you know he saw that music video of yours he was like i need to <laughs> he just had to come on yeah sorry that's hercules okay keep going <laughs> What's up, Hercules? So um, it really just boosted my confidence. And since then, I have worked with, um, you name it, every clothes brand, um, being a brand ambassador for Celsius, Saja Juice, and the list goes on. And so it has literally opened up when many start, When was it that you first got tagged in that post? That is so crazy. Like, social media is so insane that it just... Yeah, got- it was like... Um, I don't know, God, maybe eight months ago, nine months ago. Wow. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a very, it's been, it's been a while. Um, and it's literally, like I said, it's opened up so many doors, so many things that I'm working on currently as we speak that I'm um, so proud of that's coming about. But it literally started from that post, you know, um, little did she know tagging me in that would literally open a door to change my life. And a new career opportunity. So I'm very happy and excited that I had a chance to, um, you know, work with them. And then, you know, like I said, it's boosting my confidence. Totally, totally. And so you said that you used to live in Houston. Were you born in Texas? Yes, born and raised in Houston, Texas. I lived all over Houston. 
from the north side to the good sides to Humble yeah. to Acres Homes, so to the east side. Those are Houston places. So I've just lived all over Houston. So I'm definitely a Houstonian. I don't go back to visit much often. I do travel, but I, I need to go and visit home. But it's nothing like home. It's really nothing like home. No, no, never. It's, a, it's where the heart is, as they say. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's true. True. And the best food is from the south, you know. Oh. I know. I actually, I was just in Austin and I had a blast. I had really? fun. Yeah. I just, was this the first time going to Texas? I, you, no, you know, I've been to Houston. I've been to Dallas. I've been to San Antonio. I've been to El Paso. Oh, wow. I've been to Austin, yeah. Wow. You've been, you've been all over Texas. No, listen, I have been. Yes. I, I sing for the USO and so I go to where all the bases are mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. for the military. So it's it's great. It gives me a great opportunity to travel. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, so tell me more. So you grew up in, in, in Texas. When did you realize that you wanted to be an actor? Like when did that moment start for you? Yeah, so when I was a kid, actually, I used to always um, tell my mother um, and my parents, my father as well, I used to always say, no, I'm going to act, I'm going to act, I'm going to act. And she didn't believe me. Um, she thought I was just playing, you know, kids say stuff. But you know how they have the sign up, um, you know how those like those little um, scheme scam apps on Google come up. And so I was signing my mother's number. You no, know, I would actually call the people, and you know they'd be like, "You have to do this class to you know be on this show." And I'll be like, "Okay, um, I'll give you my mother number because I'm underage." And uh, <laughs> and so she would get all these phone calls, and she was like, "Oh my God, he's really serious about this." I thought he was just you know talking. And so it was really funny um, and little did, you know, my, my mother's no longer here, but um, that was one of the things that I had to accomplish. I've always been someone that um, if I feel it in my heart, I have to go after and, you know, um, succeed in every way possible. And um, we do know sometimes there's obstacles, there are challenges, but uh, what they call perseverance comes in. And so, um, by the time I was 16, I had um, met a lady by the name of Jackie. She's a uh, Vietnamese. Um, she invested so over. Shout outs in this. Yes. You're going to have yes. to have fun. Shout because... out to Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Jackie. Uh, um, she invested a large sum of money, which was like her savings, her life savings. Amazing. I think she was what, almost with 50 at this time. And um, because she believed in the project that I pitched to her and um, with the money, um, again, I was so young. So there was other adults that was helping me put this together. We got a few celebrities, we pitched a trailer. And so um, with that trailer, I had uh, met a lot of other people in the business. And so I started working for casting companies in Texas and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, I've always had a heart for the performing arts. I really did. Yeah, of course. I mean, it shows. I can't believe that you were such a go-getter that you were calling and telling them your mom's number. Like, that is insane. I'm obsessed with that. Yeah. <laughs> but I was a kid, though. I was a kid. I was talking about a teenager. When I, when, when I, did, the, when I did the film, we did the, when I did my first movie, because um, I've done several projects, um, several, you know, I've won some awards for some overseas. But when I did my first project, it's nothing like it because I was so young and uh, I was a teenager, but I was a kid when I was giving them my mom's phone number. Um, I mean, I was like elementary and um, I was signing her number up all. She was being harassed by every agency in New York, <laughs> every company, they're like, um, we have to sign your kid up for this. She's like, who, who gave, how did you give my number, ma'am? <laughs> I'm, I'm in the room I'm in the room with my you know my ear to the wall like, is she gonna sign me up today you know <laughs> oh my god that is incredible oh that was god. so funny and, I mean you don't hear that very often that is a really good story <laughs> especially in an interview yeah, yeah. and my dad used to tell all his friends you know you know my son gonna be in a movie you know I'm a junior so he's like you know he gonna be in a movie you know he gonna be in a movie he used to say that, but they didn't do nothing to put me and help me. But um, that's okay because I I I, I worked myself there. <laughs> yes, exactly. You did it yourself. That's incredible. And I mean, what's so great uh, to bring Phoenix into this, which is why we're even meeting, which I love. Yes. I'm so happy. But yes. like Phoenix is going to allow um, 
allow independent artists like us to make a living and be able to do these projects so we don't always have to be asking our our friend Jackie to help us out you know like this is right. you're very you're very lucky that you have a Jackie in your life like that is yes, yes I, I was what 15 16 when when I did that first project yeah. and um again I had met so many people I was going to pitch it to every culture whether it was Bollywood Nollywood um, I was going to meet every millionaire. I was traveling to Atlanta and I was pitching this particular project. And Jackie was one of those people that believed in it. It was other people that allocated and put stuff up for it. And it got done uh, well, to what it needed to the extent. And um, she was one of those people that believed in it, you know? And so, yeah, so I was able to pitch that. And then when I moved to Hollywood here in LA, um, a lot of doors begin to open up for me because I was already, uh, as a teenager, you know, hustling. I think it's good to start early. Oh, absolutely. And you clearly did. And I'm yeah. so excited to have you here on the, on the Phoenix platform too, because it's going to open up so many more doors for collaborators and for people to see your work. And, and I'm just so excited that you're going to be part of this. Thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to Phoenix 360. It is such an honor and a pleasure that I was invited to even be on a platform like Phoenix. It does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much, Emily. Thank you, Phoenix, again for having me. <laughs> of, course, of course, I'm so glad we connected. And we'll talk soon. We'll keep in touch. Thank you so much, Emily. Bye. Bye.